Hey folks, a week from now, the solar eclipse you've been hearing so much about will be over. It happens next Monday, about the middle part of the day. So we'll talk a little bit about the anatomy of a solar eclipse, if you will. A lot going on to make it happen. You saw the the earth going around the sun, the moon going around the earth, the earth is spinning, all these things happening at the very same time. And what happens is they all line up perfectly. The sun, the moon, and the earth, and it casts a shadow. The sun casts a shadow right down on the earth, the shadow of the moon. And that wider part of the shadow, that's the penumbra. That's what we'll be in here, kind of the edge of it. We'll have about a 50% coverage of the sun by the moon. If you're in the umbra, which is the part right in the middle, that's only about 70 miles wide and that goes right across the middle part of the United States. And we'll talk more about exactly where it is and what we'll see here and stuff like that during the course of this week. But the bottom line is here, it's just a partial eclipse, a partial solar eclipse here. So you don't want to look directly at the sun. You don't want to do that anytime. Have the glasses. We'll show you those again later this week. Regular sunglasses don't do any good at all, so don't count on that helping you, okay? Only look at the sun through an approved solar filter, whether it's the glasses or, or welder's glass number 14, something stronger than that. And then if you can do it indirectly, that's even better. And again, as the week goes on, we'll talk about the pinhole filter and all those kinds of things you can use. Maximum here is 113 on Monday, about 50% coverage. This is the computer model for noon next Monday. It does show partly cloudy skies around, so hopefully we get enough break from those clouds to actually get to see the eclipse, our 50% coverage here in the valley. That's next Monday. We'll be talking a lot about it as we go through this week. In the meantime, temperatures across the valley right now look like this. 83 Brownsville and Harlingen, 83 Westlaco, 85 and McAllen. Dew points in the mid-70s, upper 70s close to the coast. It's starting to get muggy out there. Average dew point 75, so we're definitely up in that very humid category where we are likely to stay. Here's satellite and radar. Nothing going on today. And future tracks says not much is going to happen the next couple of days. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and hot. Wednesday, a little bit of a surge in moisture. So we see a slight chance for a shower on Wednesday, but not a very good chance. Thursday, that chance goes away again, and we end up mainly dry across the area. Uh, again, that 10% on Wednesday, that's about the best we can do. As far as temperatures go, we'll stay above average. The norm is 97. We go 101, 99 and 100 after that. So tonight, 80 for your low, warm and muggy out there tonight. Then tomorrow, we're back to 101, plenty of sunshine, breezy and hot. Southeast winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour. Here's your next seven days, and they're all right around 100 degrees, give or take a degree or two. Spotty shower possible on Wednesday, about 10%, even less it looks like they may be next Monday by eclipse day across North America. That's your updated First One Five forecast. Joel.